Okay. Right on. There we go. Now, for some reason, nobody can see me, though. But at least we can see the art. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with OBS right now, to be honest. I have no idea why it's doing this stuff. But it's all good. All good. <laughs> well, it will work with what we got. Just means you can't see me. Means I can sit here and pick my nose all I want. I'm just kidding. Okay, let's see. Just gonna reconnect this uh, Wacom tablet here. Make sure this thing's gonna work for me here. Come on, baby. Sorry, this thing is not responding yet for some reason. Hopefully I don't have to try to draw this thing uh, manually with my finger. That would kind of suck. <laughs> I kind of wish you guys could see what I'm struggling with right now. Because this thing literally doesn't want to work. And if I got to try to draw this thing. Oh, hold on a second. I see the problem. Yeah, okay, hold on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna watch this thing come. Around. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Right on. Okay. So for anyone who's been checking these streams out. You guys probably remember a hat on Isaac. And I was looking at this and I kind of said to myself, you know what? He only wears the hat in one scene. <laughs> he really does. He's always got it off. So let's take that hat off. It doesn't really need it. And I started drawing that out on there and then realized Oh man, what am I doing? I gotta, I gotta save all this for the live stream, so I ended up stopping, right? But here I am. Okay. Well, let's get down to work. Finish this bad boy out. Okay, Malachi. Uh, maybe not finish off if I get close enough. I do have a lot of other stuff to edit up today, too. Me and Jen also went out to another cemetery. <laughs> the reason we actually went there, um, she heard from some people that there's a lot of crazy activity that happens there. So we just wanted to see, and it's local, too, so... Still got to go and analyze through that footage and whatnot, right? And we also have another General's Tarantulas video coming out and everything. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's fun. <laughs> and just a reminder, if you guys haven't already uh, hit that like button on our Randonautica video, that would be awesome. And the only reason I ask for that is we're it's the first video where we actually ask for some likes. And yeah, not a lot. Only 50 likes, but we're pretty close already. So if you guys want to come and help us out, that'd be awesome. And then we'll go and do some more rando nodding and hopefully not kill ourselves. <laughs> hey, what's going on there, reviewer guy? Uh, you know what? That's a little. Is it small? Well, hold on a second. You know what? Actually, this is a little big. So I'm gonna try to shrink it a little. Okay. 
Oh, ha, ha, ha. There we go. Use the wood. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm not always just able to make it into your guys' live streams all the time and stuff. And I don't take it personally. I'm. <laughs> you see, I, I spent a lot of time working on this stuff, right? And, uh, especially when it comes to Dark Wall and Dragon Ball stuff. I mean, it's it really is time consuming. It really is. And then also helping out with Geno's channel and um, the paranormal and everything else. I mean, it's, it's a lot going on, right? And this here is just for fun, actually, this one. I already know, though. I have a feeling once that first trailer drops for it, all of a sudden, Children of the Corn is going to become a thing again. And now the thing of, uh, you know, to be like, okay, enough is enough. People might actually get excited about it again, so that's pretty cool. Make people scared of cornfields again? Why not? Maybe it's best that I don't have the uh, the camera on me. You guys can't see all the funny faces I make when I draw. <laughs> I don't even know I'm doing it. 
But I've reviewed back some of those streams and I went, oh man. <laughs> That's why we come into your streams. Look at your weird face, dude. Okay. Oh, man. You know what? I still haven't decided what I want to do with Malachi's hand here. Um, yeah. Oh, man. There's so many different ways I could go about it. God damn it. You know what? I need to save that one. I'm scared. Still sort of up in the air how I want to do that hand. I really am. I mean, if you guys got some suggestions, if you think you should be holding something, be holding a head, I mean, that's pretty grotesque. Be holding a, just, I don't know. <laughs>
figure out how I want to do this. I actually tried to figure out how to do this hand this time. So, yeah. um, I think I just got a brilliant idea in my head, to be honest, guys. Tell me what you think of this. Okay. <laughs> Let me just put a new layer on here. Uh, let me get this thing a safe suit in case something weird wants to happen with it. Right. Replace. Yes. Yes. <coughs> okay. Let's find a new color. So I'm going to go blue. Okay, here's my idea. If I got Malachi, uh, I could probably change the angle of that if I really want. Or I could even keep it the same. But let's say I keep it the same, okay? So, say I come in here, whatever, it hands here, okay? Uh, he's going to be holding on to, let's, that is the idea in my head, right? So, let's say you got the police officer. That's hung up. <laughs> the famous uh, blue man, right? Here he is. Here's, here's the blue man. Save me. Right? Here he is. There's Buddy. Give him some big honking ears. All right? This be the cop. Oh, gotta give him a nose. Okay? There's his nose. <laughs> and... Basically, Malachi would be holding on to Buddy's collar, right? And this guy, oh, this guy's gonna have to be way bigger than that. Holy God. Okay, I'm not looking at it proportionally. Uh, I'm just giving you guys an idea here. So, cop, okay? That's who it is. All right? And then we would have this guy Let's say he's reaching out here. You know what I mean? Being dragged. Uh, Mr. Malachi. So then we could have his legs maybe kind of, I don't know. Ooh, oh, if it's a, yeah kind of contorted or something, you know what I mean? Maybe this one is, is okay. This is kind of one he's crawling on or something, right? So like that. And then come up. The other one here could actually be like trying to hold on to Malachi, you know what I mean? Be all bloody and broken and blue and nasty. I know it's just an idea. Hmm. Well, you know, maybe I'll ponder on that and I'll actually start working a little bit on some colorization for Isaac here. That might be a good idea. Good idea. Of Isaac, uh, more of a ghostly pale sort of color. Let me see here. Um, 
thinking something like this. Okay. So we can just hide Malachi and all that stuff right now. So we're just going to be focusing on Isaac at the moment. Um, because I do want to really see the difference in color. I'm going to... I know green's going to be a dominant one, obviously, in this in the background. Minus all the shade that's going to go into it, so we're going to go with green in the background for now. Uh, now let's go and choose that color again that I want. Um, Yeah, I'll be about right there. Okay. So it's going to look a little funny at first. Now, if I were to take that off, you can see it, right? Gotta love when you start putting that color into art. It makes it pop. Plus, I think there's a wood spot right over here.
Oh yeah. Yeah, that'd be kinda cool. You can let me know if it works or not. <laughs> ah, it could work. So I think what we'll do with this stream, because I do, like I said, I do got a lot of stuff to edit up here still. I think I'll do some more work with Isaac here. And then I'll ponder about what the heck I want to do with uh, Malachi. See how crazy I actually want to get with this thing. Because, you know, I could just rush it out, do whatever, something easy with it, or I could really bang out something awesome with this for you guys. Really take my time, do something intricate with it, you know. I don't really do a whole lot of just regular still photos anymore. I'm usually, I shouldn't say still photos. <laughs> I don't work on one single photo for all that long, I should say. Now that I've been doing a lot of animation and whatnot, Mind you, for the Dark World, I do spend a lot more time because it is still a comic dub. And uh, so I do want that artwork to really matter. I always do. But, you know, with animation, it can uh, take a long time, right? It can be a little tedious. Okay, here we go. Music is coming along, people. Coming along.
Værsgo. Oh yeah, there we go. Now she's coming out. And since I'm actually giving Isaac a red eye now, which, uh, you know, I want to see what it looks like without it now. I kind of want to see what that looks like, what I lose my head. It is creepier like that. I'll admit, it is. Yep. Evil Dead Luck wins. Alrighty.
Hey, what's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, she checked it out there. What'd you think of it there? A little corny? <laughs> Hey, what's going on, Diego? Yeah, this is actually badass royalty free music. I'm not even gonna lie. Now it sounds like Jaws. <laughs> I'm so tempted to pull out the harmonica with this, but then I gotta figure out the key, and that's not fun to listen to, so it'd be fun to listen to when I find the key, but eh. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, with all the changes going on in music, oh man, that'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably screw it up pretty bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie. gonna be taking a, a little break here so I can go and work on some other stuff guys but maybe I will do a little quick Dragon Ball drawing here for Tejita because Tejita is awesome I'll do a quick sketch but yeah if you guys haven't seen here let me get this green out of the back okay so I did a little bit more work on I Isaac, or obviously I finished Isaac over here. Uh, let me get Isaac, uh, get this out of the way. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so if you're just coming in here, uh, I did more work on Malachi. That's it. And this silly little guy right over here. I mean, that's obviously the best artwork of the whole entire thing. This, that right there. Not that. Definitely not this. Not that. <laughs> okay. So my idea is to actually to have the cop from the original film, the one who the kids always call the blue man. He's um, they have this skeleton with a, a cop uniform hanging up on a cross. So I think it'd be kind of interesting to show that cop. You know, being dragged by Malachi here and being brought into the center of the corn where they uh, do all their killings and stuff. Adds a lot more to the photo and, and you know, I could most definitely just go all a crazy with this thing, so that'd be awesome. <laughs> But yeah, I need to rest on that and kind of think about it a little bit, especially with me having to do all this other content right now. It's kind of, my head's all over the place. But just for Tejita, just for you, this is for you. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a quick little Dragon Ball drawn. I'm your number one OG man. The Vegeta. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I haven't done classic Vegeta in a long time. I mean, well, yeah, since Sinister One, actually. Yeah, my God. <laughs> You get Vegeta's uh, big eyebrow thing going on here that he always says. <laughs> Just tuning in. I know this is Dragon Ball Z, but I'm just doing this really quick for uh, Tejita. Drawing Vegeta or Tejita. <laughs> hey. I could probably turn that black actually. No, it's not very nice line work, but I know I got it run. <laughs> but that was still fun to do. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, I will talk to you later and expect a new paranormal video coming out soon. Uh, I am working on Dark Walled Part 3. It's, you know, I guess it's taking a little bit longer than usual because of all the other content that we're doing right now, but eh, it will come and it will be dark and it will be gritty and it will be badass. That I can guarantee because we are diving into some crazy territory in Dark Walled Part 3. Territory that is almost maybe too dark for you too, but it's not because... The truth needs to come out about a lot of that stuff. You know, human trafficking is a terrible thing and it still goes on. In fact, by God, uh, I'll be honest with you guys. Some uh, where I used to live, uh, just a couple uh, was it just a couple cities over actually. Somebody just got busted for human trafficking. I can't even believe it. So, you know, it's just more validation for what I'm doing for Dark Walled anyways. You know what I mean? Literally, Dark Walled is the definition of you, me, him, her, whatever, right? Whatever you want to classify yourself as. All the innocent souls that cry out because everyone else wants to steal our glory and give us suffering, give us pain, right? All they want to do is just see us down on the bottom. And... A lot of these people are just so sick-minded. Monsters are creating the monsters they always have. And it, it needs to stop. And the more we expose this stuff, the more the truth is going to have to come out. And the more it is starting to come out, right? So, I mean, literally, that hashtag that people were using that saved the children and some people were complaining, Oh, what the hell? Blah, blah, blah. That's not going to save any children. You know, that's to raise awareness, right? Because there's... If people are seeing that and they're, they don't even know what the hell it means, maybe they're going to look into it. Maybe they're going to find out what the hell it means. Save the children? Okay, that sounds like something that, you know, old grandma would say back in the day. Gosh, save the children! Right? But now it's become something a lot more. And it really is. And I, and I do mean save the freaking children. Like, literally. Or the children of the corn will become real. <laughs> and 